Hey, what's going on, guys? The Bearded Baron here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at the Primitive Challenge. This is the weekly challenge for March the 24th. So if you're new here to the channel, if you guys know, I post the weeklies one week early. So that way you guys know what to expect when you do these kind of things. If you like this kind of video, please give it a like, share it with a friend. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. But today, it looks like we've lost all of our uh, short equipment. Our equipment is short-circuited, and we got to go to Ridgeview Court. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know why hitting apply makes me change the map. That's been a thing for a while. Good lord, devs. Do something here. It's like it's falling apart at the seams. I swear. Okay, let's take a look. Oh. Wow. Okay. I mean, like, everything short-circuited. I mean, like, you could have at least left the cameras or something. Okay, well, um, looks like... This is going to, I mean, like, okay, let's try this legitimate with what we have. And then we're going to go with the obvious way that we're probably going to end up doing that. Why does this seem so much lighter? That seems so much lighter to anybody else. I don't know why, but the, the, it looks great. Why does it look like that? It doesn't normally look like that. Is that how it normally looks? Am I just now seeing this for the first time? And the power's out. All right, let us go and try to find the ghost here. Ghost here? What was that? Oh, it's the lamp. Oh, well. What door did you just, did you just throw? Was it upstairs? I feel like, I feel like it was upstairs. All right, let's check up there. Why do I feel like we're going to get a lot of... Nope, never mind. You're downstairs. Okay. I get it. You're downstairs. All right. Oh, thank you for opening up the door. Okay, I don't know what door you touch. But it doesn't matter. We don't have anything. We got Ouija board there. It doesn't do us any good in this particular moment. But hey. So we don't have fingerprints. No fingerprints. Okay. I got no fingerprints. We got no power. We got we got nothing. Just just a whole lot of nothing. Now there's the way I, I'm cur I'm curious how it's going to give you because you we can still get EMF five of the total activity board here. <clears throat> Let's take in this I guess as well. Uh, we'll take in another ghost writing book. We could also test for an Onrio, right? Um. See if it hunts early. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I mean, hey, for this one, it's super easy because either you're gonna get it or you're not. You know, like not really in between. Just checking here to see if we get anything. Let's see if it's a wraith. Right. I'm gonna try to do it legitimate and then. I mean, like, I feel like with what you got, you could sit there and you could just, you know, run it. Run it back the same every time. Uh, with the smudge sticks, you know, just to run it that way. But uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe this won't be so bad. Okay, we do have ghost riding. Okay, so that rules out a, a wraith already. Uh, which also rules out an Omnio. We can get rid of that. That's still going. Let's see if we get an EMF 5 here, right? Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I mean, that's the thing about professional mode that I've always enjoyed about this game is, is that professional mode, you can you can pretty much go with or without any of the kind of evidence. It really doesn't get too difficult. Right? I don't think that we're going to have EMF. So that's a Moroy, Diusion, Thay, Revenant, or a Mare. I mean, I kind of just want to rip it. You know, let's just rip it. Let's just find out. Because, I mean, if it's a Diogen, it's going to find us. If it's a Moroi, it'll be, you know, it'll be pretty fast. Right? If it's a Thay, it'll be pretty fast. If it's a Revenant, it'll be pretty fast. If it's none of those, then it likely is a, uh, a mare. So, you know what I mean? Where are you? Hide and seek. Uh -oh. 
Oh, that's a revenant. <gasps> All right, we got revenant. Hey, ghosty, give me a hug. Hello. Oh, well. Please tell me that 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 that's the hunt duration. That's it. Oh my gosh. What is it set on? Amateur? What is this amateur mode? All right, I think we did uh, pretty good overall. Not too shabby. I'm curious. I'm legitimately curious for anybody that's watching this game. When you play on Ridgeview, is it not like 90% that you get the room with the piano? I feel like it's like something ridiculous like that. You know, like out of everywhere, out of the rooms and stuff. Like I just, you know, I, I just never get... I just never get like anything like I can't tell you the last time I got like a master bedroom goes Right, it's always like over here All right, let's see Wow, the one done that I actually say it and it's not here. Okay <laughs> Let's just prove Not in here What about here? Here maybe no not there here No, not here here no, not here. I could just ask you where it is. Where are you? Goodbye. Okay, we're in, we're out. I was honestly expecting it to shut the door in my face and then immediately hunt. So I'm kind of glad that it didn't do that. You know, that's always a good thing. Uh, we have no sanity, so perfect. Uh, I did that to myself because I hate myself. Yeah, that's what it is. 100%. Hey, it said kitchen. So if it's not in the kitchen, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Is it said kitchen? Getting some activity there. Don't know that we're getting a whole lot, but mm, we'll see. Let's see what we get. I don't like using the. Uh, when I don't have any sanity, I don't like using the. Ooh, we have fingerprints. Um. I don't like using the other uh, the other st stuff, right? But uh, hey, hey, using the Ouija board. I mean, I don't like using the Ouija board when I don't have something to replenish the sanity because then it just turns into like I'm trying to keep the ghost from hunting the entire time, versus you know being able to actually do something else. Let's see. Well, Onryo is not on there, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to head back in. So basically, what we're just trying to remove here, right? The only things you have to is Ghost Riding, uh, EMF 5, Freezing Temps, and Ultraviolet. So outside of that, if the ghost is doing something, uh, we don't really care. Right? We're just looking for unique identifiers or anything on those lines. See if see essentially what we can see please don't be a shade i can't be a shade could be a gorio and that would absolutely suck in fact i kind of hate all of these that are here um like they all suck none of, none of those are good I, I take that back some of them are good most of them are terrible i'm gonna go on a limb here and i'm gonna say we don't have an emf5 at this point in time Right? <sighs> Maybe we could get freezing temps, and then that would be nice. We'd have to let it hunt twice to make sure to rule out like a mimic. Um, my gosh, who knows? Yeah, we're de we're getting EMF threes, but uh, I'm not getting much of anything else. Okay, let's check back in here for freezing temps and for ghost riding again. 
Now, if you're if you got a ghost like this one that's interacting with its environment, but it's not interacting with the books as uh, as much as you would like for them to be, uh, what you got to do is you got to take you got to take this stuff out. Where the only thing that it can interact with is the ghost writing book, right? I want you to throw the ghost writing book. Right? I don't want you to interact with anything else. Okay, that's fine. You can interact with that. That's okay. Well, not really, but that's kind of okay. Okay, please stop throwing the other stuff. Just... Okay. Right? Let's interact with the book. Nice book. Right? Just curl up with a nice book here. All right, let's check on freezing before it decides to hunt me. No freezing. So, Phantom Banshee. Well, this is going to be terrible. Right? I mean, it could maybe be a poltergeist, right? I'm hoping in this situation that it would be a poltergeist because if not, it's going to be so annoying to try to have to deal with that. You never just suck. Let's see if I can grab one more. I need more light, right? Yeah, I mean, like, I get it, you know, like, hey, okay, everything's short-circuited, so so did the power, but I mean, like, come on, you know, like, help me. Help me help you. Please okay. don't give me an a notion. Okay. It did throw the book. Let's see what we got. Either a banshee or a phantom. That sucks. That sucks. The phantom? I'm going to go on a limb here and I'm going to say phantom. I'm going to say phantom. That was hard. It was hard to track. I don't have any other... I mean, like, I guess we do have another way of being able to track it. Maybe, but, uh... I could sit here for the next, like, five minutes and try to figure out whether or not that it's a banshee or not. But then it's just going to be hunting me the entire time. And uh, to be honest with you, in that kind of situation, right, just just take a guess and leave. It, it's no harm if you, if you miss. Luckily, we didn't miss, so... Perfect. But that was kind of a pain. So the other way that you could do it is you could just get it into hunting. I'm assuming that based on, because you have such a limited amount of stuff that you have, that the, you are more likely to get a certain type of ghost. Right? Like you're more likely to get like a phantom, a poltergeist, a Diogen, a Thay, a Maroi, something that you can identify via the hunt. Okay, it is snowing outside, so I don't know that that's actually the room here or not. Now I made that comment. Now it'll never give me that office room again. Are you here? Okay, you're going up. What about here? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Wait, where is that? Did you throw that? What, what cup? What am I hearing? What cup am I hearing? Ah, it's a plate. Okay, so you're literally right here. Wait, let's check for fingies. No fingies. All right, we can rule those out. And it's also not a mayor, because a mayor would never turn on the lights.
I just want him to interact with the book, right? So that's what we're doing. We're removing out stuff. As I'm going to be coming and going, I'm going to be taking some plates out. We're going to be checking them out here. That way we're good to go. Ooh, that looks like an EMF 5. Look at that. 0 to 5 on there. Nice. So Wraith. Uh, let's check for Wraith. Right? Maybe it'll be a Wraith. Maybe it'll be, the, maybe it'll be my day of lucky. Who knows? But anytime when you're testing for a wraith, right? Here's the best course of action that you can do. Now, what we could do here is we could just activate the Ouija board, cause it to hunt, and then turn around and see if it steps in the salt. Right? That's the uh, that's obviously probably the easiest way of determining a wraith because if the wraith walks through it, then we know, right? Even if you don't have the ghost, even if the ghost is not in the same area, you can still kind of lead the ghost around. Okay, it threw the book. Yeah, it threw the book. And it didn't write in it. So, I'm honestly going to be going with Wraith here. I kind of want to see. We got nothing else. Hide and seek. She's not walking through any of that salt. That's a wraith. There we go. Woo! There we go. So, yeah, you can really only focus on four pieces of evidence that you can actually get here. EMF 5, or, you know, EMF 5. Uh, ultraviolet, ghost writing, and uh, freezing temps. Right? That's it. That's all that you can work with. The uh, <coughs> EMF 5, you can still tell from the van. So that's how you can do that, right? What you're looking for is a jump of 4 or 5. Especially if, you, if you're playing by yourself, you're looking for a jump of 4 or 5. Uh, if you are playing with other people doing this weekly, then I would recommend that when somebody is looking at the van, when you see a jump of 4 or 5, uh, to ask if there was a ghost event that just happened to the folks that are inside. Um, but yeah, I mean like pretty easy, pretty straightforward. You can use the equipment to be able to figure it out, right? It does look like it uses, it utilizes three pieces of evidence. So hopefully you guys found this informative. You guys are loved. You are valued. Again, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Uh, it genuinely does make my day. Um, and, and comment down below. What is, what is the most common room that you get in, in Ridgeview? I'd love to know. Cause for me, it's always that, that stupid office over there, but I love you guys. I appreciate you all. I'll see you guys in the next video.